too. How the heck are you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. I'm sitting in my studio, my little office here, just messing around on the computer. And I came across a new exciting uh, thing that came up today. And that is uh, the release of Microsoft Edge on Mac OS. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to download that and get that running on your Mac. And I know some people are this, you know, stringent Mac only stuff. And some people are just Microsoft. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to play on both sides of the game and just see what the other one has to offer. So we're going to download Microsoft Edge onto my Mac here and just see how it's doing. So the first thing you want to do is just open up your browser, Safari, or maybe even Chrome you have running on your uh, Mac there. And go to MicrosoftEdgeInsider.com and you'll see right here they have the little link for Download Canary Channel for Mac OS. And if you scroll down, they'll give you a little announcement about it. Back in December, we announced our intention to make it open source. And they're going to be uh, having an insider forum that you can, you know, pretty much say what you think about it and get some uh, feedback on and give them some feedback on the new browser. So you're just going to go ahead and click on that. Accept and download. And then, as you can see, it's getting downloaded into the system there. If I go up to the little area of the browser here, you can see I downloaded it once before earlier, but I just want to show you it's pretty easy, pretty quick to download. And also because I did download it earlier, I already have it installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and click into Microsoft Edge Canary. And there you have it. Typical look of the edge where you can scroll through their little uh, snippets of news and things that are going on. So it gives you a pretty nice uh, front page. I've enjoyed using it on the Surface Pro. So I'm going to just go ahead and kind of expand this window to full window. And then I want to go back to Safari. I'm going to do the same for that, full screen. And let's see, I'm going to go to one of my pages that I typically do to, and that is Mac 9 to 5. But I want to change it up a little. I don't want to get you too bored with Mac stuff. I'm going to change it up, go to Google, 9 to 5 Google, and that gives you all the information that you want to hear and see that's going on the Google side. Like I said, I keep in track on Microsoft, I keep in track on Google, Android, and of course Mac. So let me switch back over to there. I already got a link for Mac 9 to 5, so I'll pull that up. Go over to the Google side so we can see and kind of compare between the two. Scrolling's pretty good. This is the Safari side. It goes pretty quick. Go back over to the edge side. And it's still loading stuff. I go to the pretty far down and I'll get down there and see what. Okay, so we should have had content previously loaded already, so we'll do some scrolling. Pretty quick response, pretty quick response as far as scrolling quick. Not people, many people couldn't read that quick, so I doubt they're going to scroll that quickly anyway. Switch back to uh, the Safari side, Google Pixel Device Learn. I was in this earlier and I noticed that it was showing different content, but it seemed to be synced up pretty much now. APK, APK, yeah, it might have been just a delay. This guy was showing up earlier on the top of the Edge side, but it wasn't showing at the Google side, on uh, the Safari side, I should say. So let me just go into, go into Google Calendar. Loads pretty quick. Content, a little sticky there, a little sticky. And then we'll switch back to the Canary side. Click on that guy. See, now you got a different view. Depending on the browser, you're going to get different uh, ways it's going to respond as far as things. As you can see, the calendar part filled in the whole screen. Uh, 
Maybe it took a... I didn't think it did on that side too, so they both did on that side. So maybe it was hesitating. You can see that it fills the screen pretty much as far as how it's supposed to uh, So we got it. We can click on some of the things going on in the page. Obviously that doesn't work too well, so I can two fingers swipe back. It's going to load that page again. Swipe two fingers back again on my trackpad and we're back to the main page. And should work the same way on this guy. Let's see if I click on that. See it responds a little bit differently. Little things Go back to there. Let's see if that one, this one does the same. Now that's a smaller picture, so that must be just the content they loaded for that page. Let me go back to Safari. Google Pixels. I think I went all the way back, so let me go back to the calendar. Click on that. Yeah. So it did the same as that. Kind of brought a, a bigger version of the image up. The background's white on the Safari side, where on the Edge side, it filled it in black. That could be preferences that are set in the program itself. You got your basic outlay of your browser, so you got your bookmarks here. I've imported some bookmarks from Google earlier on. I got the already one bookmark as a favorite there. On the other end of the spectrum here, we have uh, the Microsoft Defender browser protection. So you can report a suspicious site. It's always selected on when you have that on. You can have different profiles. If you want to sign in, you can be browsing as a guest. You can add a profile so you can have several different profiles. That's one thing that the Safari doesn't have as far as that's concerned. And then you have the icon here which is the feedback for Microsoft Edge. Tell them what's going on, problems you may have had. Those are those three icons and down here at the very end you got your typical settings for like new tab, new window, private window, favorites, history, downloads, apps, you can manage some apps, extensions, print. So your typical th things that you would want to do in your browsing. Then up here you got your plus sign. So you can add a new tab if you wanted to. You can scroll to the new news reports that are going on. Got your uh, Game of Thrones going on there. So you can catch up on your news and everything. So that's just a little tidbit I wanted to bring to you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I'm almost at a thousand. I'm going to be bringing you something special when I do hit that uh, special mark. I'll let you know at that point. If you've been watching my previous uh, episodes and that vlogs, you'll know what's coming up, kind of. But uh, that's going to be coming up for you guys, too. So if you have a Mac device, go ahead and download Edge Browser onto your Mac. Go ahead and play around with it. Like I said, you can never have too many browsers. I have like Chrome on there. I have one called Opera and uh, Safari, obviously, which comes with it. And now I have Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to be browsing the rest of my day away. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Have a good one.